everyone, welcome back to the Kedron Equestrian YouTube channel. My name is Zoe and I am a trainer, coach and competitor in, from Australia. Uh, today I thought I might do a little bit of a story time, which I haven't done yet. Um, so it's a little bit different from our regular videos. So as you would have seen by the title, I'm going to talk about uh, the time that I almost had my finger bitten off by a horse while I was in Japan. Um, it started on just a regular day as most most things do we'd mucked out the stables we'd had breakfast and me and the other girl were just tacking up our boss's first horse who was Ravan a two or three year old colt and um, that had been bred there at the riding stables he was very naughty he hadn't had really consistent what, discipline I suppose uh, throughout his whole life and so he didn't respect people he didn't really he didn't know what being in trouble was really um, so we would tack him up in the wash bay one of us would uh, feed him and the other one would tack him up very quickly <laughs> and anyway on this day I was feeding him uh, just a bit of hay and we, well, the other girl had tacked him completely up. I was just handing him the last little bit of hay and he chomped onto the top of my finger with the hay. And as you would expect, I pulled out and he did an almighty reef up and I just assumed it would have just been black. I didn't think that it was going to be uh, in the state that it was and I shook it to try and shake the pain away as you would when you've you know stubbed your toe or something and I looked down at it and I swear I saw the top of my bone sticking out I think it was just the shock I don't think that actually happened but to me in that instant moment where I looked at it because I did not look at it again for days <laughs> anyway saw it swear I saw the thing shoved it in the other girl's face and said oh my god <laughs> she said it's okay it's all right just be calm and she just calmly walked over to the tack room and she grabbed out one of the horse towels that had been washed and I said I can't put that on my finger it's dirty she said that's okay grabbed another one here take this one put it on your finger I said I can't use that it's dirty but I wasn't verbalizing the, uh, it's a horse towel, it's not sterile, I can't put that on my open wound. I was just saying it's dirty. And she was like, it's been washed, it's not dirty. Zoe, put that on your finger and hold it tight. <laughs> anyway, I did that. Um, as she called our boss and she said, Zoe has been bitten by Ravan, you have to get here now and take her to the hospital. And that doesn't sound very life-threatening. I was always being bitten by Ravan, take her to the hospital. So my boss was a little confused. Anyway, he turned up and I had this massive big towel over my finger and I was holding it tight. I'd got my passport and everything ready to go to the hospital. I felt like I was either going to vomit or pass out or both. Like I was not in a good way. I was definitely in shock. Um, then I uh, got in the car, headed to the hospital. It was probably like a 15 maybe a 10 minute drive to the hospital if the traffic was good. Um, and my boss was trying to work out how bad I was if I was about to pass out. He said, do you know where we are? And I said, yes, I know where we are. We go to shopping down there. <laughs> I meant the shopping, the shopping center, like the supermarket. Um, anyway, got to the hospital, we parked illegally. He rushed me inside. I, I hadn't been to the hospital before, so they had to fill out all of my paperwork and stuff um, which took a little bit but then my boss kept saying she's gonna pass out and a horse was bitten off her finger so <laughs> it's a little bit odd uh, so they rushed me through I didn't do any waiting straight up to see the doctor um, into like a private room as we were waiting for the doctor uh, my boss said I have to move the car it's parked illegally <laughs> I need to move the car but he didn't want to leave me he didn't know what state I was in and he said we're really happy with you Zoe you're doing such a great job we're really we're really happy with you and I was like that's great go and move the car I'm fine <laughs> um anyway the doctor comes in he cleans it he informs me that they don't stitch 
animal bites, which I was so thankful about. I do not like needles. Um, they said, do you want to get a tetanus shot? When was your last tetanus shot? And I had no idea how expensive a Japanese hospital was going to be. Um, and I didn't get traveler's insurance stupidly. It didn't end up being that expensive. It was fine. Um, and so I said, no, 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 that's okay. I don't, I don't need that. Um, so they just sent me home with some topical antibiotics and painkillers, I think. I don't think I even got um, like ingestible antibiotics. Um, and I had a massive big wrapping over my finger. Uh, I worked that day because it was Mel's day off. So that happened on Monday. By Wednesday, I was riding. I'd worked out how to tack up horses. Uh, ride, wash horses without getting it wet. I had to work out how to shower without getting it wet um, because I, need to keep, I needed to keep it covered while it was healing enough so no germs or anything would get in. Um, yeah, so I was able to do my whole job. I whacked it many times, which was almost as painful as the initial experience because I do not recommend injuring your fingers. There is a lot of nerves in them and it hurts. Um, yeah, I had to go back to the hospital maybe four times for checkups. Um, all the nurses thought that it was hilarious for like each dressing change and as they checked it I would have like five nurses in there and they were fascinated by the fact that a horse had done this to my finger. <laughs> they thought it was funny, especially my reactions because they wouldn't look at it. I refused to look um because it freaked me out uh yeah but it's healed fine i thought it was going to be really manky and gross but you wouldn't even tell it looks fine um yeah it's all good my nails normal don't mind my fingernails i need to be repainted um yeah so that's the story of almost losing the top of my finger to a horse um i hope you enjoyed it I hope it didn't gross you out because I'm going to go through and edit some photos into this. I probably should have warned you at the start of the video, but I didn't. Um, yes, so please uh, comment and like and subscribe if you're enjoying my content. Um, let me know any ideas of videos you might like to see or if you want my opinion on something um, or another story time. I don't have that many interesting stories. Um, yes, uh, so I hope to see you for the next video. All right, bye.